The return on these games was huge. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 low budget games that made millions. For this list, we'll be going over the games with small starting budgets that went on to make millions in profits. Number 10, Flappy Bird, aka Holy Shit I Hate This Game. This smash hit mobile game was created solely by Vietnamese programmer Dong Nguyen in less than a week. With a simple objective, to keep the titular avian flapping over a series of pipes of varying heights, the gameplay loop is easy, endlessly repetitive, and incredibly addicting. Although Flappy Bird was not available for long on app stores, its sheer volume of ad revenue due to it being free and the addictive nature meant that Nguyen had made millions from app revenue alone, with some sources claiming he earned a cool 50 grand a day at one point. Dong eventually re-released new versions of the game, an arcade game and an Amazon Fire TV version called Flappy Bird Family. Number 9. Castle Crashers A side-scrolling beat-em-up about a group of knights trying to rescue a princess from an evil wizard, Castle Crashers is known for its distinctive art style and sense of humor, as well as its fast-paced gameplay. Created by The Behemoth, a game development studio that got its start with Flash games, Castle Crashers was made by less than 10 people, yet it has sold millions of copies worldwide. A small band of heroes discovered an unexpected treasure trove while setting off for adventure. Why does that sound so familiar? Number 8. The Stanley Parable All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Its gameplay is nothing special, given that you mostly just walk around. But The Stanley Parable distinguishes itself through its memorable narrator, numerous reality-bending moments, and fourth-wall-breaking story elements. Originally created as a Half-Life 2 mod, Parable was developed by Davy Redden with the help of William Pugh. Even without an exact budget, the fact that the game has sold over a million copies on PC alone and is due to have a console release in 2020 means that its sales have surely exceeded what two guys alone put into it. And could someone please tell me why this game always seems to hit the number 8 slot? But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. Number 7. Terraria There are a ton of procedurally generated sandbox games out there, but Terraria brings a certain level of polish to its 2D take on the genre, with various bosses, zones, and enemies to encounter. It's all the more impressive for having been the creation of a small development studio. Developer ReLogic only has around 13 employees as of 2019. Terraria's engaging gameplay has earned it huge profits, and it's currently one of the highest selling PC games of all time, selling over 27 million copies across all platforms by the close of the decade. The game's territory is sure to expand even further into the future. Number 6. Cave Story A deceptively simple 2D platformer in the Metroidvania genre, Cave Story follows a robot traversing a series of mysterious caves and encountering villains threatening a race of rabbit people. The game won many over with its upgradable weapon system, charming characters, and catchy soundtrack. Developed over the course of five years by one developer, Daisuke Amaya, Cave Story was originally released for free online. After developing a cult following, it was released in various upgraded versions across multiple platforms and earning millions. It just goes to show that sometimes giving something away can yield big returns. Number 5. Undertale This little RPG has taken the world by storm, managing to combine quirky characters, an unusual battle system, and a storyline with real consequences for the player's moral choices. 
the entire game was developed almost single-handedly by creator Toby Fox over the course of nearly three years, backed by a Kickstarter budget of around $50,000. On that relatively small budget, Undertale went on to sell a million copies in its first year, and over 3.5 million by 2018. Even with how cheap the game goes for, that's quite the haul. Number 4. Super Meat Boy This unforgiving platformer has players lead an animated chunk of meat through a grinder of punishingly difficult levels requiring absolute precision. Super Meat Boy was created with a surprising degree of precision too, especially considering its mere two developers lived on different coasts during the time they worked on it. The game has received both wide acclaim and has sold millions of copies, reaching its first six figures within the first year or so and doubtless making even more since then. While it certainly makes players want to smash their heads against something, clearly people are into that. Number 3. Braid A platforming game that plays with time in various ways, Braid is one of the most beloved indie games out there. It follows a man determined to rescue a princess from a monster, but its simple setup is executed in a fascinating way. Created by developer Jonathan Blow over three years and using $200,000 of his own money, Braid has since made millions of dollars through sales across multiple platforms. While 200 grand is still a lot of money, for most of us, it pales in comparison to what it yielded. Number 2. Minecraft We're getting into the all-timers now. Yep, Minecraft is definitely one of the biggest games of all time, and it's not hard to see why. The simple concept of harvesting and mining materials to improve your harvesting mining abilities or achieve other objectives is hardly new, but the versatility offered in the game is virtually unmatched. First created by one developer, Marcus Notch Pearson, Minecraft has since earned billions of dollars, including a $2.5 billion buyout of Pearson himself from Microsoft. You'd have to mine a lot of diamonds to earn that kind of dough. Want more video game content? Check out our gaming channel Mojo Plays and discover games and ideas you never knew existed. With more lists, breakdowns, and our latest series, Arcade Roulette. Justin and John are in! Oh. Wait, is that Porky Pig? Mm. There's a lot of things being ripped off in this game. Number 1. Tetris. It could be easy to forget because it's such a simple puzzle game, but Tetris is an extremely popular one too. Created by Alexei Pajitnov in Moscow during the Soviet Union, Tetris is the original rotating block puzzler. With 170 million copies sold and counting, Tetris has made billions from its addictive gameplay and endlessly catchy theme song, although Pajitnov himself couldn't tap those riches until 1996. Given that it has been remade and remixed countless times in the decades since its release, getting an accurate figure on its total sales is a puzzle in and of itself, but Tetris has found the secret to long-term success. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.